So the battery's gone flat. It was working all good. And then I didn't use the car for about 10 days. And then it was really weak when it started. And that was on the weekend, so drove it a few times in the weekend, it was all right, and then left it for about 10 days while I was using the work wagon. And then it was really flat. And when I checked it, it was seven volts. And I went and got a tester, and this has had like 20 hours of charge time on it. And it's just been sitting here during the day with no load on it. And I've come home and I've checked it, and it's saying, instead of being 800 crank amp, it's saying 174 crank amp. And when I took it off the charger this morning, and tested it after it had about 16 hours of charge time it was showing 470 crank amps so it's lost a hell of a lot of amps just sitting here doing nothing so this battery must be toasted so I got the battery out of the work van which is 720 cold crank camps this is 800 cold crank camp so we will put this in and get the car started so when you look down here at the charge indicator it's looking pretty black so it's saying recharge whereas when you're looking at this one it looks nice and green nice and green all the way down to the bottom and this one's looking dark so saying it needs a charge but it just does not seem to charge so we've gone 720 crank camp and it's saying it's 711 it's saying the battery is in good condition And it's showing 12.67 and the internal resistance is 3.85. So that's the battery in. And as you can see the car is pretty asleep. It's only drawing 0.27 of an amp. So that's pretty low. Let's see how well it starts. Alright, everything off. Brilliant, that kicked in real hard. Right, let's go check what the alternator's doing. So it's still idling fast. So that's the idle dropping down. So that's basically the same amperage I was getting with the other battery. And we're getting 14.4 volts, which is really good. It's what it should be. So after a minute or two of just idling, we're now down to bouncing around at 1 to 2 amp. So I just got this one, the van one back on the charger, and it's dropping, the amps are dropping pretty quick. It's just dropping, dropping, dropping. The other battery did not go below 100, uh, 1.3 amps. So this is just dropping nicely. Should go under one amp. So that shows that this battery is in good condition as well. When you see the amperage dropping quick like that. And it's showing 12, 12.8 volts.